this is TC ASMR here. In today's video, I'll be recapping UFC Fight Night Jan versus, again, I'm just going to call him Marab, um, but I think it's Divishilia. Divishilia. Maybe. I got to learn how to pronounce his name. Um, anyways, so I predicted that Petrino, that Vitor Petrino, would knock out Anton in the first round. Actually went to a decision. Um, I did not watch this one. I only watched the Volkov versus Romanov fight and the Jan versus Marab fight. So look at these stats here. Um, Petrino had less significant strikes, and Anton had more. Or excuse me, had less strikes. Anton had more. Um, and Anton had a much better percentage as well. Petrino had more takedowns, and Anton had, more, had less takedowns while attempting more. Petrino had a submission attempt. Um, I think this is reversals. Petrino also had more significant strikes. Uh, the decision was unanimous, so that's interesting. I'm guessing Petrino won. I guess he won round three and round one, maybe, or no, it looks like he won round two as well, because Anton went for nine takedowns in round two and only secured three of them. Uh, same amount of significant strikes, so, but a good win for Petrino, stays on Bautista versus Guido Canetti. I predicted that Bautista would win by decision, but instead he won by TKO, I believe. Um, I think he won. Oh no, he won by submission, excuse me. Uh, so only five strikes. It was a pretty fast submission, five strikes. Uh, he secured three of his four takedowns in that minute. One minute and 42 seconds. Um, no reversals. Had three significant strikes and knockdowns in his one submission attempt. Uh, slept or put Guido to sleep. So. Next we had, I don't know why this site does that. Next we had Saeed Nurmagomedov versus Jonathan Martinez. Jonathan Martinez ended up winning by unanimous decision in three rounds. I predicted that Nurmagomedov would win by decision, uh, so I got that wrong. Not exactly sure uh, statistically what happened here. Nurmagomedov went for three takedowns, or excuse me, went for nine takedowns, only secured three. Martinez only went for one and did not secure it. Nurmagomedov went for two submission attempts. Martinez went for one. Nurmagomedov had more total strikes, had a decent percentage, had a pretty good percentage too, but Martinez bettered his percentage, albeit uh, with less strikes. Nurmagomedov also had more significant strikes, so I'm kind of confused how, I guess this is why you need to watch the fight. Um, I'm a little confused how Martinez won. I'll have to look back at the highlights. I'm guessing he won these two rounds, maybe, and maybe Nurmagomedov won the first round. So, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, the next fight was Krylov or Krylov versus Ryan Spann. I predicted that Nikita Krylov would win by decision, and instead he won by submission in the first round, similar to how Mario. That is, yeah, Mario Bautista won. Um, yeah, looks like he was dominating though. Span only got off five strikes. He got off 31 and complete or landed 24 of those and went two for two on his submission attempts. So a good win for Krilov. And then the first fight that I watched 
was Alexander Volkov versus Alexander Romanov. So the fight ended uh, with 2 minutes and 16 seconds left on the clock, uh, I believe. Um, I mean, Romanov started okay, but he immediately came out the gate going for a uh, going for a takedown. He immediately shot for a takedown, and Volkov stopped it. And then I think he shot for another one. Volkov stopped it again. Uh, hit him in the stomach, I think, and then Volkov brought him down uh, after Romanov shot for another one. And um, after that, uh, Volkov just got Romanov on his back and just started pounding him. Pause. Uh, but just started going to work on him. And uh, it was just punch after punch after punch. And I don't think Romanov was knocked was knocked out or anything, but the referee just stopped it because it was going to get ugly pretty soon. As you can see, no, sorry about that, uh, Romanov didn't even land a single strike, and yeah, pretty much did nothing the entire fight. So, you know, lesson to be learned for Romanov, and a good win for Volkov. Not really sure where this puts him, but... Good win for him. And then the big fight uh, did go to five rounds, but it's pretty much a domination from uh, from Marab. He didn't really hurt Jan at all. And as you can see, 11 of 49. So Jan defended 38 takedowns. So he defended very well. He defended the takedowns very well, but Marab's pace was... Uh, just unbeatable, and Jan could not, well, he, he was keeping up with the pace, but what really hurt Jan was, I think it was in the second round, Marab started to land a lot, or in the first and second round, Marab started to land a lot of calf kicks to his lead leg, to his left leg, uh, in Jan's conventional stance, and, um, you know, Jan likes to switch stances a lot which is one of the things that uh, makes it difficult for his opponents, but because he got hurt pretty badly on his left leg, he could only fight in orthodox for the most part, which kind of left him, you know, weakened. And Morab was really able to take advantage of that, and I think Morab won pretty much every round, maybe bar this one. You know, maybe you could say round two was even, but every other round, I think Marab won. So, uh, kudos to Marab. As I said, I didn't really know who he was before this, but now I definitely do. So, he'll move up to number two for sure. Uh, we can look at the rankings quickly. Um, so, in Bantamweight, you have Sean O'Malley, Jan, who's going to move down. Marab will move up, and O'Malley will get, I think O'Malley will get a title shot, uh, and, or maybe either O'Malley gets a title shot, yeah, th I think O'Malley gets a title shot, and then if he wins, obviously, then uh, O'Malley gets the title, but um, if Aljamain wins, obviously, he retains it, but Marab has come out and said that he doesn't want to fight Aljamain because he trains with Aljamain, and Aljamain was actually in his corner for this fight. Uh, but I also think Henry Cejudo is coming back, so maybe Aljamain will fight Cejudo. Uh, Mr. Triple, Triple C, Mr. Triple Champ. Uh, so that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty, pretty entertaining Recently entertaining, I'll put it at that. Fight night. Um, don't remember. Let's see when. When? What's the next big, uh, big fight? So, oh, okay, yeah. So the next big fight is next weekend. Uh, UFC 286. The 
but uh, let's see, is he on this card? He could be on this card, because I don't think he's fought in a little bit. No, okay, we have Gaethje versus uh, Fisev.